Hey guys, Alan from Let's Talk Tech here. Uh, gonna show you this quick little tutorial on Google Analytics. Uh, pretty awesome. Uh, it's not a program per se. It's it's actually um, yeah, it's an online program, I guess you could call it. Um, run by Google. I'm a huge fan of Google. Um, so just to tell you what Google Analytics does, if you don't already, if you're not already using it, if you have a uh, website, um, I know a lot of people have like cheaper websites out there. Um, and they don't have some sort of way of tracking them, of keeping track of how many visitors they have, and they want to know this and that about them. Well, Google Analytics can take care of that for you. Simply, you have to create the account, which I'm not going to do, but uh, you can do it easily. Just go to google.com backslash analytics, or you can just search Google Analytics, um, which is pretty simple. Once you have it set up, just follow the instructions, but I'm going to show you today just look what you can see what it shows you now as you can see this is my personal forum that I have let's talk tech dot get goo dot us um, but as you can see that I hit seven viewers which this is actually pretty sad but I hit seven viewers my first day and like this is all that's not important I am stuck to the uh, Google Analytics till this day um, so, you can see I got a lot of views, and then all of a sudden I went down to zero views. Well, it shows you that, but, and, you don't just want to see how many people are going to your site each day. Like, yeah, okay, yeah, that's definitely what you want, but, you can see so much more. You can see your traffic. So, you can see how many people are actually going straight to your site, or how many people are being referred from a, uh, search, um, search engine, something like that. Or, and then you can see how many times each page has been viewed, which is really nice. It also shows you that you've had 12 visits for the site. The site has had 12, so the site has been visited 12 times. But yet, yeah, each page, uh, counting all the pages views total, it's a total of 41 views for, for all the pages total. To get more, you just click on visitors simple as that okay well I want to go into the map overlay I'll show you the map overlay the map overlay shows you um, all the countries states regions that have been going to your site and as you can see the only people that have gone to my site is in the US and you could scroll down here and if you have more uh, uh, countries or territories that visit your uh, site, it will be listed down here. You can also, um, it will show you more information right there. But, it, like, let's say I don't want just the United States. I want to see what towns in the United States are visiting my site. So it's going to go in here and it's going to search and it's going to show me all the places in Connecticut that. And the, currently, the only one that's visited in the last month, which is only like five days, and Maryland and Connecticut. So I have 11 in Connecticut and one in Maryland. So that's all the people that have viewed my forum in the United States. Now, I don't just want to know that about Connecticut. I want to know what town in Connecticut. And as you can see, orange, the the darker the color, the more hits you have. Don't know why Hamden shows up twice here. One Wallingford hit, and one Berlin hit. Or two Berlin hits. So, that, and then that will show you the rest. Uh, like like I said, you scroll down, and I'll show you all the uh, towns. So, Hamden, I really have three, because there's two Hamdens. I don't know why. I have no idea why that is. Um, so, that's pretty simple about that. Now you also have your new versus returning. Okay, well, this is simple. <laughs> new versus returning. Yeah, you could uh, have it shown to you in a pie graph, a line chart, uh, all these other really cool tables and stuff. But I prefer the pie chart. New versus returning. The returning is blue. So I have a lot more returning than I have green, which is new. So I have a lot more returning than I have new. You have languages, uh, you can see 
I'm guessing mine's only gonna be English. Yep. Two English. EN US is English, I suppose. Uh, visitor tra uh, trending, which it tells you your visits, absolute visits, time on the site. How much time does someone usually spend on your site? Does someone spend five minutes, five seconds, ten seconds, you know? Uh, their browser capabilities. This is actually one of the things I check for the most, is their browser. I want to see what kind of browsers are going on. Now, the most fascinating thing to me <laughs> is that the most uh, um, visited, uh, the site is mostly visited by uh, Google Chrome users and sorted Google Chrome, Firefox, and Opera. Um, so it go, it will sort by uh, sort by number, and that sorts by name. So, because Firefox and Opera are tied, so there, uh, far F comes first before O, I think. And then you can also search your operating system. Well, okay, so I've noticed that one person viewed my form from a Wii, from a Nintendo Wii, which you can do, by the way, um, go on the internet with the Wii, um, and so many, 11 of them, so most of them are from Windows. Most of them use Windows, which is not a shocker to me. And then you could browse OS and, uh, you could browse operating system and, brow and web browser, and that's kind of a cool feature. As you can see, that the um, Chrome was uh, all the Chrome users are visited by Windows. Firefox was visited by Windows, which is obvious. If you had Linux users, it would change. And Opera was uh, visited by Nintendo, which is uh, obvious because uh, Nintendo Wii only supports Opera. Uh, you can also see their Flash versions of their Java. That's not really that important. Let's go to Network Properties. You can go see their service provider. These are the most common service providers. I don't know what I don't know what their what this uh, is. Sector three. And I really don't know what this means, but uh, you also Comcast and Verizon Internet Services. And you have your host names. As you scroll down, you can see that the host name. Oh, okay, maybe that's not. Okay, that's not ex exactly what I expected. It does it differently in my other one, but um, okay, cool. Uh, that wasn't exactly what I expected. Um, but you also you go to connection speeds, and you have your unknown. So that basically means that they the um, the cookie, the tracking cookie that was placed on your computer to find what kind of information you had, didn't. No one really uh, couldn't find it. Uh, the uh, most of them are cable. So most of them are unknown, but seconds cable, and then there's a one T one line, which is actually pretty interesting. Um, and mobile. I know I didn't have any mobile devices except for maybe uh the Wii, if you consider that a mobile device. I don't know if they do. No, they don't. Mobile carriers. I didn't have any devices, so I'm not gonna have any carriers. But that's basically that. You can also go into traffic sources, which, um, like I showed you before, traffic sources. And it tells you that your traffic source, most of them are direct. But one of them came from Twitter. So mostly people go directly to, uh, my let's talk tech.getgoo.us. But one person also came from Twitter. Um, the next thing is about direct is that. Um, direct could also, uh, they could come from a site, a referring site, and it might just show up as, uh, a direct link. So, don't always go based on that. Um, you also have your search engines, and since I've never been searched in a search engine, and my thing's probably not in a search engine, it's not going to show up, but yet, if there was any search engines, it would show up right there. But that is Google Analytics in a nutshell. Um, pretty simple pretty basic and it gives you a lot of information so I would definitely suggest you get this for your website um, it doesn't work on YouTube I wish it did um, but it doesn't work on YouTube and it, it but it does work on a uh, blog it works on blogs and it works on a lot of other stuff so you can go to Google Analytics and check that out and see if it's available for your um, 
website or web browser thing.